like my main goal is to win. Um, win with Charlotte. Um, just win the playoffs, you know. And uh, you know, like I said, bring back the bring bring some uh, a great atmosphere to the Spectrum Center. Brandon Miller, B. Miller, coming off an amazing All Star weekend, putting on for the city of Charlotte, Buzz City, man. Y'all better pay homage. Y'all truly got one, you know. Um, Brandon Miller represented the franchise to the utmost. Um, you had cameras, microphones all in his face, and he let it be known that his main focus is winning for the city of Charlotte, bringing that atmosphere back to the Spectrum Center, getting Charlotte to the playoffs. You know, this is big stuff, you know, that this kid is saying, and he's out there putting it out there. You know, he's not only speaking it, you know, he's doing it. And I think respect needs to be put out there for this kid. Listen, Brandon Miller is the truth. We all know Charlotte is just abysmal. You know, the season is all but over with. Um, they're 13 and 41. Um, could it be a situation where they snuck in? That's absolutely not going to happen. You know, 13 wins, but hey, three wins in a row. I bet it got a lot of people hyped. Um, we're going to break it down. Uh, Brandon Miller, you know, this season, his rookie year, he's averaging 16 points per game, and he's coming along, you know, with a lot of other rookies, you know, obviously Victor, Chet, but now you're starting to hear that Miller, you understand. We're going to break it all down. I got the Chief in the building. Uh, Chief, let everybody know before you get started where they can find your channel because you got a lot of content on Brandon Miller and the Hornets. Try Sports Media. Try you know, Buzz. You heard what the man said. Now, Chief, what's your thoughts on B. Miller, you know, speaking, you know, like a leader for the Hornets, one of the leaders. He clearly he's going to be one of the guys. Um, he, had, he had an amazing weekend. What, what's your thoughts on Miller and the Charlotte Hornets and, you know, and everything that's going on? Man, I loved it. I loved I loved his whole presence in the media, his rollout. No foolishness. He's about the business, you know. Who's the best social media people? He said the Charlotte Hornet, the Charlotte Hornets media team, you know. So he is he has brought into the Hornets, which is a good thing considering what the Hornets are doing now. You know, Brandon Miller wants to win there. You know, Lamelo has said, you know, I will stay here and build it. You know, uh, Miles, I want to come back. You know, Grant Williams, I'm back home. Let's build it. Let's build it. Grant's talking like this. Trey Mann, getting minutes. He's happy. You see, and Seth is home wearing his daddy's jersey. You know, he happy, you know. So there's a lot of good vibes going on in Charlotte right now. A lot of good hope for the future now that ownership has changed hands. You know, there is, and with this three-game winning streak and the changes that were made at the trade deadline, there's good feelings in Charlotte right now, you know, and – uh, with some of the cornerstones of your team, the majority of them and the players coming in who are invested for like in the success there in Charlotte is a big deal considering what has happened in the past with Charlotte. This is good, bro. So it's on leadership now not to mess this up. You're right about that. You speak about Charlotte Hornets' leadership. Um, they clearly been leading the way. We've had a lot of, you know, turnover, you know, going in. What do you think? How's this turnover going to benefit Brandon Miller in the long haul? What's the, what's the end goal here? Number one, to build a culture, to build a culture that has to be built, a, 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 a culture where instead of Charlotte kind of being an the last stop for players exiting out from their careers, a place where the players can see that they come in there, uh, they can win. It'll help them. It'll help them. It will help their branding. LaMelo Ball is leading that, you know what I'm saying? You know, it'll everything that they want in terms of why they begin to play basketball. They can get that type of success on and off the court in Charlotte. You know, so with the uh, with the turnover, it shows that leadership is serious about making these changes, because in the past, that type of turnover would not have happened and with respect under the previous regime. That is not happening. That same team would have stayed right where it's at. You know, so 
now uh, the new leadership led by Rick and Gabe are now now beginning to make moves to match what they've been saying since they've taken the team, you know, and other moves are necessary. They have to, they have to, um, they talk about player amenities that has to come up. Training facilities have to be improved. They even looking where it is. They're looking at the training staff to see what's going on there. Player development, all that stuff has to be, all that stuff has to be looked into, you know, for the players to have a good experience. And also they're reshaping the arena, reimagining it, what they said. So the fans can have an experience, you know, so it can be known that this is a new day. This is a new regime. And uh, we want the fans to be excited about uh, being a Hornet. And we want the fans and we want fans to yeah, you're right about that, man. Uh, I love what's going on with Charlotte. I, I, you know, it wasn't too long ago they just had what Jared Wallace night. Yes. Um, I, I, I want to see these guys around. You understand, especially a guy like Wallace. Wallace was a good player, you know. Um, and I think that he needs to. He could work with Brandon Miller. You know, players, former Hornets need to be coming back and working with him. You want to see Dell working with the shooters. You want to see, you know. Um, Dave Baron Davis coming back. Out Alonzo Mourning, he's so caught up with the Heat culture. But I mean, seriously, shout out to Shaq, who's spreading his wings at all his organizations. You understand? Alonzo Mourning coming from that Heat culture. Imagine what he could just, just a little sprinkle the Charlotte. You understand? I mean, seriously, I'm going to get into Alonzo Mourning in a second. I'm telling you. You know, you heard it here first right here with the Chief. <laughs> Alonzo right. Mourning, he, I forgot he had a Hornets jersey on at one point. Yes. You understand? I mean, seriously, these guys, you see Shaq out there holding it down for Orlando. He messing with Miami. He, he everywhere. You know, he was in Orlando, didn't end well, but they retired his jersey. And he going to be out there mentoring Orlando uh, Magic players. You know, um, so I want to see more people. That's what's needed. You know, and I think guys like Miller, Mello, they deserve that. You understand? Because they're bright young talents, you know, and they could use. I know that a lot of people say not, but you want to see a Davis talking with Mello. You want to see that. You yes. Understand? You, I mean, you, they, they, they could use that. You understand? And I think it could go a long way um, to getting Charlotte. All hands need to be on deck. You understand to get this organization on on track, and I think they're there, you know. And I think the more they start winning, the more you're gonna see these guys front row, you know. But I wanted to point that out. Um, how, how, obviously, this season is a wash, but do you think that they could they could build for next season? Um, how do you think that's the outlook coming back from uh, All Star break? Oh, yes, man. You know, and, and to add to what you said and to answer your question, you know, you, you got a whole Baron Davis. He came by. I was happy to see him. He came by. You see, like you said, uh, Jared Wallace came by, held it down during the Bobcat years, man. You know what I'm saying? Alonzo Mourning, you know, you know, Larry Johnson. You know, there's a there's a whole Glenn Rice, Monster Mash. You know, there's there are people who pass through Charlotte. Well, there's plenty others that pass through there too, and if they're fair, Kimba Walker as well. Yeah. Oh yes, Kimba. Yeah, Kimba don't get enough respect. They need to do something for Kimba. Bring him back, not in yes. no foolishness, but bring him back since he held it down. Also, you know, yeah. so he put all for the city. He did. He did. So as far as the the season's concerned, they can build for next year. They got money and they got picks. Yeah. Plenty. You heard what the man said. Listen, we're going to break it all down. Make sure you hit the like button and most definitely hit the subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV. You already know what it is.